Hi everybody, it's Eva with Superpower School coming back for uh, more questions. It's been one of those great weekends, lots of people asking questions about how to love life again and how to activate their strengths so they can do so. And so today I want to talk to you a little bit about mindfulness. That seems to be the best way I've been learning to um, stay present. And when you're staying present, your body feels better, your mind feels better. And we all know that that's just kind of basic 101. And the best way I can explain how that works in percentage form, because there is a formula that we want to adopt and modify as needed for how to balance our time. Because obviously, you know, the Dalai Lama says the more you forget, the happier you are. We want to forget maybe what we ate for dinner yesterday, but we don't want to forget who our sweeties are. We don't want to forget those beautiful things that our kids do, because, you know, those are things that make us happy. And on the other hand, we don't want to devote all our time to that because that leads to depression when you're too focused on the past. Um, when you're focused on the present, at least 50% of the time, that's when you can affect lasting change to your overall well-being. So, uh, and the other end of it is also an extreme where if you're focused on the future and the unknown too much, that creates anxiety. And that's what most of us have been dealing with the last year is all this unknown in the future. So here's an analogy I've discovered while I was sitting in our lounge today. Super cool. Let me show you a picture of this. Um, there we go. Flip this around.